Okay, here we're going to use the binomial theorem and Pascal's triangle to expand the expression 2g plus h cubed. And I've got the binomial theorem here jotted down. So I'm going to start using this formula to expand things out. Notice in this case our exponent of n is 3. So we'll start off with 3, choose 0. And then it says we take whatever the first term is, in this case that's 2g, and we raise it to the exact same power. So we'll raise that to the third power. And then we take our other term, which in this case is h, and we raise that to the zero power. Okay, our next term will have 3 choose 1. Again, we take the first term, which is 2g, but now we start decreasing its exponent. So that'll be to the second power. The other term, which is h, we increase its exponent by 1. And we basically just keep this process up. So we would have 3 choose 2. We would have 2g raised to the, well now to the first power. We would have h raised to the second power. And then one more term here. Um, I'm going to give myself a little more room and drop it down. We'll have 3 choose 3. We would have 2g raised to the 0 power and h raised to the third power. We'll come back to the uh, part about Pascal's triangle in just a second. Okay, so we've got 3 choose 0. Uh, 2 to the third would be 8. g to the third is just, well, g to the third. Plus, again, we've got 3 choose 1. 2 squared is 4. And then we'll have g squared multiplied by h. Plus, we'll have 3 choose 2. In, in this case, we would just have 2g multiplied by h squared. And then we would have 3 choose 3. Anything raised to the 0 power, again, is 1, so we'll be left with h to the 3rd power. So the only thing that we have left to do in this case is we need to determine the values of our coefficients. Okay, so let me show you our good old Pascal's triangle again. So there's uh, Pascal's triangle. We just put ones, uh, looks like a little, well, a nice little triangle. Uh, we put ones along the edges. So we have one, and then we put two ones, and then we start adding those together to get the uh, entry in the next row that's below it. So one plus one would be two, so we'd have one, two, one. Again, we put a one on the outside. One plus two will be three. Two plus one will be three, etc. And based on the exponent, uh, the numbers in that row will give you the coefficients. So in this case, we said that n was equal to 3. So I look at the third row, and the numbers I see are 1, 3, 3, and 1. So 1, 3, 3, 1. Those are going to be the values of our coefficients. We'll get 1, 3, 3, and 1. And after that, it's just a matter of simplification. So we would have 1 multiplied by 8 g to the third. We would have 3 multiplied by 4g squared times h. Well, 3 times 4 will be 12. We've got g squared multiplied by h. Plus, again, we've got 3 uh, multiplied by 2, which will be 6. Then we have a g and an h squared. And last but not least, we've got our uh, 3 choose 3. That's going to be just uh, equal to 1 multiplied by h to the third. So that will now be our expanded expression. Of course, you could always just use the combinations uh, formula involving factorials, but uh, certainly Pascal's triangle is a nice quick way to, uh, to find those values without using all of the factorials.